all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to work with a very like very nice library called uv so uv is a unified python package manager that is built in rust but is used to manage your python projects and your python versions so there are several features of this particular library so let's see one of them so one of them is a uh, project management so with uv you can manage your project and then your dependencies together with setting up different virtual environments similar to what you would have done with virtual env or poetry you can initialize a project and then you can work on it right very useful and then with also uv you can also manage and install different python versions like pyenv uh, py, py, yeah, py and then you can install different python versions and switch them which is very useful and very convenient and it also has a feature to be able to manage tools right so tool management in which you can install different cli tools like how you'd have done with pipx right to try a particular cli and work it so let's see how to use this wonderful library so i'll go back again to my workspace here i'm using uh, let's move to wsl here perfect so this is the location that i am and then you can see there's nothing here so let's see how to work with uv so first to install it just go with pip install uh, uv right i am I want to install it directly so i've already installed it. so this is how to install it on your system right very simple perfect now let's go with uv that dash help to see the various things we can do with uv so with uv you can run a particular command or script you can initialize the project you can do all of these things right so let's see how to work with this the first is how do you manage and create a project with uv so to do that just go back again to my location here and I'm just going to go with my UV, then I'll just go with init, and then the name of the project, right? So I can just give it any name. So let's say it's awesome. Right. So if I go with this, now it's going to create a project called awesome, right? And then you can see it here. So if I check it out, we see that we have my awesome here. If I move into awesome, you can see the structure of it, and I can open it with VS Code, right? So let's open awesome with VS Code. And now this is it you can see that that's open so let's trust this project and you can see the structure so we have a source directory that has a simple init file with the name of the file here and then we also have um the pi project the tomo file that contains similar to poetry which is used to manage all the different library uh, settings and then dependencies and then we also have a simple readme perfect so that is how to work with UV, right? To manage a project. So UV init, then in the mode like a project. Perfect. Now, in case you want to add a particular dependency or a particular package to it, how do you do that? You can just go with UV, add, then I can just add a library. So let's say Radon. If I go with Radon, it's going to create a virtual environment. Very nice. And then it's going to add these packages to it. So if I go back and I check here again, you can see that inside my pyproject the file we have the package that i added right radon and then you can also see that you also have a uv.log file which is very useful to pin all your all the dependencies that your the library that you added depends upon right very useful cool just like the pip.log file or poetry.log file very cool now let's see how to you can see that just created a dot vnv here so you can actually activate this vnv as one of the features of of uh, poetry of uv in case i want to run this right how do i do that right so i'll, I'll go back again to my workspace here and then let's i'm going to create another file and i'm going to call it as calc.py then let's create a simple function and i'm going to call it as calculate that takes in x and y right and then this can be int and then it returns another int and then i can just return s plus y something like that right so this is a simple function that i've created the reason i'm doing this is i sometimes forget typing confusing it with julia <laughs> okay so let's see how to run this our package we installed on it so to run just go uv then run then i'll specify that i want to run radon then that dash help 
and automatically it's going to run so it's running radon from what i installed which is very useful very convenient right and i can now run radon so radon cc then i'll go into my project which is the location that i have and then inside my location i had my my calc so the reason i cannot see that i have to go back here move into my src you can see that i have my alpha there right which is this and then i can get it here so i can just get out of here and then you can see it right so if i come back here the same location that i have my file i can just go with my uv run then i can just go with radon cc then i'll specify the file which is found in awesome the name of the library and then calculate then i can just go with av and now you can see that it's given us this error the reason it's given us this error is because there's a synthesis error inside my function because of the typing. So let's think of the typing for now. I forgot my typing because I confused it with Julia. <laughs> and then if I run, it does, it does, it does analyze it for us, right? So there's a cyclomatic complexity of it. So you can use Radon, uh, Radon via UV, right? It's very, very simple. So that is one of the nice features of UV. In which you can manage your project your dependencies your different environment and then so similar to how you'd have used virtual env or poetry perfect so you can see how you can use these particular package so how do we also use to manage virtual environment so we can create a virtual environment or we can also manage different python versions so first let's see how to do that i just go with uv then in case i want to manage different python versions i can just go with python then list if i go with this it's going to show me all the different python versions available right so those that are available in general and those that is on my system so the ones that i have downloaded so i have python 3.10 python 3.10 right and then in case i want python 3.12 i can just go with uv then python then i'll go with install then i'll specify 3.12 right if i go with this it's going to install it i already have it so let's say i want to get a different python version so python 3.11 you can just go with this option here 3.11 and now it's going to fetch it for us perfect right so it has installed it so if i check the list you can see that they are there and it's showing you the location of the particular python right very cool you can also do uv python and in case i want to uninstall i can just go with uninstall 3.11 right and then it's going to uninstall it for us right so just install it uninstall it if i check the list then it has it's gone right it's no more there so previously it was there but it's no more there, which is very useful so you can quickly install a different python version and then uninstall it very very nice okay let's see one thing you can also do you can also in case you are creating a virtual environment specify which python version you want to use so how do you do that so in the same place I can just go back again to this list to see the list that we have so this is the one we are on and in case i want to create a virtual environment so uv so vnv right and i can, can just say okay use python specify that i want to use python and then i will specify the type of python version i want to switch to and then which python version i want to use for my virtual environment so if i go with this touch, touch and just go with 3.12 and now to create a virtual environment and then it's using 3.12 right and it's found here so in case i want to activate it i'll just go with the information here as seen to activate that environment and now we have we are already activated so if i go back into this i check python the python is 3.12 very simple right so very very useful library to do a lot of things so i can just go back again and then exit perfect and then i can also exit from here so i've closed it completely <laughs> so let's go back again to our wsl and then let's start. so with uv you can do so many things can do so many things so let's see another thing you can also do with uv you can we have seen how to manage different python versions to install and to switch python versions so in case i want to switch you can also switch right and let's see how to also work with the tool management so how do you use uv to manage your tools so i'll go back again to where we were so inside my document 
we had it inside here and then we had it as package management tools and in case i want to manage it, a particular tool right to run a particular tool, i can just go with my uv right? and i can run a particular tool so we have two and then you can just say install so there is tool install which allows you to be able to install a particular library you want to use so to install something like let's say black or roof and then it's going to install black right so this is tool install and in case i want to run it i can just go uv to run and i can just say black right so version and then we have it here in case i also want to install let's say roof another computer now we have it installed and in case i want to use it i can just go with roof right very simple so that is a very nice tool and this is how to install it in case you also want to uninstall it you can just do the same thing so uv tool uninstall and then i can say uninstall black and then that's uninstall it right very simple so it's a very very useful tool and you can see that it's very fast also right okay this uv tool can also be long so it can be long when running this so in case you don't want to run all this uv tool you can just do uvx this uvs is similar to pip x right the uv2 command is similar to pip, pip x so i can just do uv x right and i can just say uh, really similar to uv2 run and then i can run a particular tool right that i want to use or something right okay so let's see an example so i'll do this uv2 run and then let's say roof check or oh, to check up i can also install another tool so to install so covid cli i had a tool that i installed some time ago which is very very far away <laughs> so yeah it's it's having some issues but that's an example of how to install the tool I can go uv2 and let's say install bandit so bandit is a nice tool for for the analysis and this is how to install it in case i want to run it so uvx bandit right then that's dash help and now it's giving us all the vulnerabilities that we want and how to use it very cool so that is how to use uh, uv for these wonderful features you also know how to use it for project management for managing your different python versions and for two management right of course there are a lot of things you can do there are so many things you can do with this wonderful library you can I go to uv that does help you can pin versions you can sync, you can remove dependencies, you can use the normal pip, you can create virtual environments and then switch to them. You can do so many things, right? In case you are familiar with uh, pip, uh, pip compile file, you can also pin. So for example, like if I'm in a directory, like here inside my awesome directory, and I want to pin to a particular Python version, I can just do uv pin uh, Python, pin and i can specify that i want to pin to a particular python version right so let's say yeah so 3 point something so python 3.11 so i can just pin it or oh, 3.2 right i can now pin it yeah but there is no python it's not correct format so you can use uv pin to pin a particular directory to a particular version that you want to use very nice of course, there are a lot, but this is some of the things I want to show you to you. I hope you have learned something. So let me see what you do with this wonderful library. It was created by Astra, which is a very nice platform that the same people that created Roof, right? So thank you for watching. See you another time. Stay blessed.